your kid's pretty shy. And my dad was like, see, you're shy. He goes, why don't we try something else? So I literally, I put it in the back seat for years and years and years and years. And hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Sorry to stop you. So yeah. your dad took you to an audition. I mean, <laughs> in, to a meeting age at seven years old, they, they told you you were shy. How did you not let that discourage you as a kid? Uh, I, I did. I, I totally did. I, I, I put it in the back seat and uh, everything else. I mean, then I wanted to be, I mean, before being an actor, like I, I, I wanted to be like Albert Einstein and Michael Jordan. So like it, clearly my, my, <laughs> dream, my dreams weren't like, confined to a small box so i guess this was the first thing i was told no to like my parents both were like yeah you could be the next einstein or the next michael jordan and i was like i want to be an actor they're like oh, i don't know about that man that's kind of crazy you know so it was like i think i was had a misconstrued view of like what was a realistic pursuit and what wasn't i did let it i did let it uh really discourage me man but i never lost the the interest and the bug for it and watching tv and watching movies were like therapy to me you know, and I didn't have a lot of people to talk to as a kid, and it was the only outlet I had. So it was always something that I knew was there. But my mom being, love her so much, but being kind of an overbearing Asian parent, you know, she, she's what people may call a tiger parent at some times, which is where it was like, it was like, I either get like an A plus or I'm putting it for adoption type of thing. <laughs> yeah, it was so crazy. Okay. Yeah, it was about school and it was about, you know, getting a better, we were financially, you know, we struggled most of my life and, and it was just fi paving a way where we didn't have to do that. So I said, oh, what did it be an actor? She's like, okay, well, you better enjoy being a waiter because that might be what it is. You know, like not saying she didn't believe in me, but she was just like, realistically, this may be the life that you choose and you could be broke your entire life doing it. And if you're okay with that, do it. And I was just like, I'm all, I think I'm all right with that, but I'm not going to be broke. So let's mm. <laughs> you had a mindset of success, but. I want to start with when you were discouraged, how did you grow out of that shyness? Because a lot of people struggle with being shy, but how did you grow out of that in time? <clears throat> I, I mean, I, I was painfully shy as a kid. I mean, painfully shy. I, I wish she had given me a dark scene to do, like a dark, like, like the kid from E.T., you know, something like that, because I think I would have nailed it. But she wanted me to be like, you know, Amanda Bynes at the time or whatever. <laughs> and um, I, my mom put me into martial arts at a very young age. And it forced me to like be in physical contact with people and be in a team group environment. And uh, that really kind of took me out of my shyness a little bit was, was being in martial arts for so long. Um, they gave you some kind of confidence. Yeah. Yeah. And then my mom, would, we'd go to church and my mom would make me, um, you know, they'd volunteer, kids would have volunteered to get up on stage and like read verses, whatever. And yeah, I, yeah. she would always volunteer me and I'd be like, I don't want to do it. But like, I'm really glad she did it now because I would do it every week and it was just something like getting up in front of a couple hundred people and doing that. Like it's, um, it was really beneficial, I think. So. And, and, and with, with your mom being, you would say a little bit stricter than 